Yeah, really looking forward to it. Grew up, you know, reading all the comics and stuff, and it's great. It's in a movie, and I'm really excited. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, especially the kids as well. Uh, blast from the past. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen the trailer. It looks really good. So, I'm really looking forward to it. What do you think the time the enduring magic of these characters in particular is? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you just, you know, you watch them over the years, you see them in the comics, and, uh, yeah, you sort of fall in love with, the, you know, their, their lifestyle and, you know, that age and how innocent everything was. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. So I'm really looking forward to see what it's like in a movie. Well, I'm, uh, I build houses for UK developers. I've got timber frame company, so that's what I do uh, most of the time. And, you know, now and again, I do a bit of commentary and a, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of after dinner speaking. So I'm pretty busy. Life's good. What's your assessment of the, the state of English rugby at the moment? How are we doing? English rugby is hugely on the rise, second in the world now. You know, Grand Slam champions, you know, beat, uh, beat Australia three times, first time ever. I mean, things couldn't be better. Very exciting times for England. And, um, you know, we've got a World Cup in a few years' time. New Zealand are the team to beat at the moment. And that's the next challenge. But very exciting times to, for English rugby. How much of our recent success do you attribute to Eddie Jones in particular coming on board? I think a lot of the success has to go to Eddie Jones. He's not really done you know, too many changes in the side. There's only a couple of changes. Mario Toji, Dylan Hartley is captain. Moved a few players around like Chris Robshaw, uh, James Haskell. And, uh, and it's all worked and they've got a winning mentality. And also you've got to give credit to the England under-20s as well. who've done well over the last three or four years. So players are coming through. And um, it's not going to be long, I believe, before England are going to be the best in the world. And in terms of Dylan, obviously, when the captaincy was announced, there were some question marks, I think, over how much of an issue temperament was for that role. Um, do you think that now he's already proved those critics wrong? I think he has. Um, you know, certainly his record wasn't the best and there were eyebrows raised about why he should be captain. But, you know, what? he's proved everyone wrong. I think what the captaincy has done for him it's cool that temper really and it's made him realize that um, he's got a huge responsibility to do the right thing all of the time and um, and people look up to him now and on the pitch he's he's looking the part he's playing the part he, he leads by example and uh, that's the most important thing and 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 the you know the temper that he had before seems to really have calmed down and, and that's great although we want him to be on the edge as well he's a hooker he's in a you know a tough position and he wants to lead by the front and he wants to be aggressive but i think the captaincy has certainly helped his game in that respect. There's been a big debate about the question at a school level of whether or not we should be moving away from age-based categories towards a size ranking. Um, as, as someone who's obviously played the sport growing up, how do you feel about that? Do you think that would be an improvement? Do you think that would make the game safer at a school level? I'm not convinced by the, uh, the weight category as to where people will play because I think if you do it by weight, then you're going to have big guys you know, big boys who are sort of, you know, uh, underdeveloped emotionally and they're playing guys who are b bigger and stronger or the same sort of size but older and maybe not as advanced, you know, won't be as advanced as them. And, I, you know, I think rugby is about sometimes about mismatches, about having big guys running at small guys. And, um, and at schoolboy level, you're going to have that and that happens. And um, sometimes you've just got to be brave enough to tackle and, and, and take them down. It's a difficult one. It's not an easy solution, but I think um, I'm not convinced that way. You know, weight category is the way to go. I think, you know, if somebody's far too overweight for their for their age group, you know, perhaps would be moved up. But to group everyone in that respect, I don't think it would work.